Let's make this easy slow cooker barbecue chicken today. We're gonna start off in our crock pot and then we're gonna give it that nice sticky barbecue finish underneath our broiler. Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is Tamisha and if you are tuning in for the very first time, I just love to share recipes and everything food related here. But if you have been here since the beginning, like the past four years, then you already recognize this background. Um, I am back to where it all began. This is where I filmed um, the first several years of my channel right here in my mom's kitchen. And I am gonna be back here for the next several videos to come. So you already know it's gonna be good when you take it back to where it all started. <laughs> upwards of 100 degrees here in North Carolina today. I don't want to be standing over a grill and I definitely don't want to be um, having the oven on for several hours. So we're going to make a barbecue chicken today in our crock pot, slow cooker, whatever it is that you want to call it. It's going to be just as good and, um, as if you were to do it in your oven or on your grill. So not going to hold you guys much. We're going to jump right into our ingredients. So we're going to start with our chicken. I have already washed my chicken. Use whatever pieces you like. I am using drumsticks tonight. And I'm going to start off with this Ajika seasoning. This is the Ajika Georgia. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The Georgia Georgian seasoning from Trader Joe's. I love this, especially um, on grilled chicken. It's so good. But it has um, crushed chili peppers, coriander, fenugreek, dried minced garlic, salt, and marigold. So I'm going to get that into our bowl. And you want to season this up really good. You can also use a, um, a grill rub, like the chicken spice rub if you wanted to, but if you got a bunch of seasons like I do, just um, make your own. So this is good. I use a lot of this. <laughs> okay, so we're also going to go in um, easy with the salt. This has a little bit of salt in it, so I'm just going to add just a little bit more. Probably about a teaspoon worth. And like I tell you guys always, season to your preference. I'm going to add in a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to add in some garlic powder. Okay, that's not coming out the way I want it to. <laughs> so we're going to just open that up. All right. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of the smoked paprika. some onion powder, and I also have some poultry seasoning as well. Uh, oh, Lord. <laughs> that came out. That came out a little bit more than I expected. Okay. <laughs> and then, guys, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I always add this um, whenever I'm cooking meat, especially when I'm grilling. Um, I like to make up a big batch of green seasoning, and I am just about out so i'm going to add in just a few spoonfuls of my green seasoning as well this gives it like just an amazing flavor i love green seasoning if you guys know anything about green seasoning you already know what i'm talking about okay <laughs> um but comment down below if you want to see um how i make mine i'll be more than happy to make a video for you guys okay it's just a blend in here it's a blend of a bunch of peppers onions uh garlic cilantro parsley a little bit of lime oh my gosh um bell peppers it's just it's so flavorful okay all right so what i'm gonna do now is uh we have all of our seasoning in our bowl i'm gonna grab a glove real quick i'm gonna do this off camera and i'm gonna give um my chicken a good mix okay I've already started um, putting my chicken into my crock pot. I do want to show you this. I highly recommend if you are going to be um, using a crock pot and if you don't know about these already, definitely grab some. These are the Reynolds um, slow cooker liners. 
I'm telling you, <laughs> makes cleanup so much easier with anything that you cook in your slow cooker. So our chicken is all seasoned nice. I have the first layer in. So what I'm gonna do is you could just put all your chicken in and cover everything with your barbecue sauce. But because I have um, a lot of chicken, I wanna make sure that everything gets barbecue sauce on it. So I'm gonna just kinda like put half in and then um, squirt some barbecue sauce in here and then put the other half on top. So you guys know I am not brand loyal. I am price loyal with whatever fits into my budget and I do not mind using store brand at all for anything. And especially if you're going to be um, seasoning your food very well, <laughs> if you have well seasoned food, I promise you um, it's okay. <laughs> it's absolutely okay to use the store brand and not only that, but I mean, store brands are not bad at all. Just depends on which which store you're buying from. But um, I'm just using Food Lion, Sweet Honey, um, barbecue sauce. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything else into my slow cooker. And then I'm going to cook it um, on low. I like to cook on low. Now you have a low and a high setting on your, on your slow cooker, your crock pot. I always cook everything on low. I feel like it allows all of the seasonings and flavors and spices to marry into the dish a lot better when you do it on low and slow. So we got our last few pieces of chicken into our slow cooker. And then I'm just going to squeeze the rest of, well, more of the barbecue sauce. I'm gonna save some for the very last step. Just save a little bit for the end, but just get it coated enough and as it cooks um, and you have the lid on, it's going to create its own liquid anyway. So your barbecue sauce will disperse a lot better throughout um, while it's cooking. I'm gonna get this on, get our lid on, get our slow cooker on, on low and cook it for about two, two and a half hours. And then we'll come back and move on to the next step because there's one more step after this. Now we're ready for our last step. Our chicken is done. I let it go in the crock pot for four hours on low and just transferred it over to this casserole dish because our, cas our crock pot has done all of the work, but now we need to actually get that nice barbecue stickiness and um, crisp up our skin a little bit. So in here, I have the remainder of our barbecue sauce, which is about one cup, as well as a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. So what that brown sugar is gonna do is gonna actually allow our chicken and our skin to to caramelize just a bit once we put it underneath the broiler. So I'm just gonna use my brush and get a nice basting of our sauce on here. And then we're gonna pop it into our oven underneath our broiler for anywhere between three and five minutes. Now what's important about the broiler step is that you do not walk away. <laughs> Once you put it in the broiler, stay right next to it. And I would even encourage you to maybe keep um, the oven door open slightly, just like a little crack so you can watch it because because of that brown sugar underneath the heat of that broiler, it is going to um, go pretty quickly <laughs> in there and you don't want to actually burn your chicken. So we're just gonna finish getting this coated and get a good thick, layer of sauce on here as well. And this smells so good. And like I said, I had my chicken in on low for four hours. But if you wanted to cook yours on high, you could. You would cook it anywhere between two and three hours. But for on low, with the amount of chicken that I'm cooking, then it would be three to four hours. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish put, basting my chicken with my sauce, and I'm gonna pop it in a broiler, and then when we come back, I will show you the finished chicken. I wanna give you guys a quick look at what's going on underneath the broiler. This is about ready to come out probably in about 20 to 30 more seconds. But you can see the skin is starting to crisp up. It's bubbling. That brown sugar in the sauce is starting to caramelize. So we're getting that nice, sticky barbecue. 
All right, guys, I just wanted to close out by saying thank you so much for tuning in to another recipe here on my channel. Here is our finished up slow cooker crock pot barbecue chicken finished off in the oven for about three minutes underneath the broiler. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you guys. And until the next video, take care and be blessed.